Hi everyone, I didn't expect to be back in front of you quite so soon, but just after publishing my last video, Family Historian came out with an update 7015. There's a lot of media stuff in it, there's a lot of Roots Magic import tweaks, and a lot of other stuff. You can read through it all, I'll flash to it at the end of this video. The very desirable one for me was media, and some updates that I've been wishing for in Roots Magic for many, many years. If you want to get notifications of future videos on the best genealogy tools I have found, then hit the subscribe button below this window, followed by the bell to get notifications. Here's the update, and you can go through it yourself by going to the web link on screen. Most people will know that I jump ship from Roots Magic due to lack of meaningful development, so let me do a quick recap on Family Historian Media Benefits before the 7015 update. The big update for me is in terms of media. There are also tweaks to the direct Roots Magic import, which already preserves your data, including shared events, name groups, media links, research items, addresses, correspondence, and source templates. In terms of media, I want to mention a little feature called Web Clipper, which is inside Family Historian. And I found that very useful as I built my media collection and source material. I can easily grab pictures from the web without going through an intermediate program. So open up the web search window. Here's an image, and if I open a source on the right here, for example, I can simply drag that image into Family Historian. Choose source or citation, and give it a name. Here's another web page, and I'm interested in this William Gracie. I grab his photo, and again drag it to the citation. Give it a meaningful name, and job done. Well, we could further enhance that information by adding this information from the uploader. So I copy that and paste that into the media note, and here it is. The media list displays both thumbnails and file details. I can resize these panels and columns to suit my personal preference, and those settings get remembered. I can even configure the data on display, adding or removing columns to best suit my needs, and maybe just make more room available for thumbnails. I can also sort by any column ascending or descending. Here I can quickly see some media items Family Historian has found on a different drive, and I'll go and correct them soon. I can filter my media by words attached, for example, individual media, family media, event, place, source, new, unlinked, etc. You will quickly notice some media items wrongly linked to individuals here, and I can go off and easily resolve these. I can combine filters, so if I select citation, there are all the citation media attachments. If I further select pictures, we can see the two media items that we added earlier. I can double click the media for closer examination, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, and naturally drag it about with an intuitive grab hand. This is not possible on Roots Magic. Here is William Gracie, complete with his notes I added earlier. I select Add Frame Link, zoom in and draw a box around William's face. Family Historian asks what I want to add the selected link to. I choose Individual, select the individual and confirm. If there are multiple links in a group photo, this little tool will display them all. I'll just clear all those filters. This is an ancestry derived image with a typical nondescript name that people dislike, and I really want to change that to something more meaningful. You can see this Roots Magic post from 2017 and a long winded workaround described by the developer, but there is still no design feature after many, many years of asking, which means the question and request still repeats frequently. I discovered such a design feature in Family Tree Maker 2017, but now Family Historian also has that same ability in a format I prefer. What I do is zoom in, examine the media, decide on an appropriate file name, click rename, and job done. The file is renamed both in my computer and database, and the link is intact. Another feature asked for by Roots Magic users over many, many years is the simple ability to filter large media collections just to show broken links. Then the user can easily work through resolving those links rather than looking for little X's. However, that very feature has just been introduced in Family Historian 7. Here's a broken link. I use the free everything utility to, to search for parts of that link, filtering by picture. Once I find it, I copy the full file name and path, and I go over to Family Historian and paste that into the file name. Now here is a bit of magic. Now as soon as I do that, the thumbnail appears, and that's that link resolved. So I can work through other ones, very simple and quick process, all intuitive and all in program. 
So all in all, this place is family historian well above the competition in terms of media. Now if you know different, go down to the comments and stick a comment in there for the benefit of other users. But in the programs I've trialled, I don't find anything that matches this level of performance. I'm off on vacation, so this is just a real quick video to show what's just been released in the latest version. Possibly when I come back, I will replace my 2017 media video with what's available now. And I'll make some comparisons with the way I did work in Roots Magic and the way I now work in Family Historian 7, as I still have a lot of Roots Magic associates over on that platform. Interestingly, Roots Magic 8.2 is now a full year old and it's still missing several features. Book Publish being one, Spell Check being another, Personal Media Album, a lot of people asking for Personal Media Album and it's not there either. That's all possible in Family Historian 7 and you'll see that in my last video. What's more frustrating and the reason why I jumped ship from Roots Magic is that the wishes over many, many years, 14 years in some cases, were never fulfilled and now we're into a brand new rewrite and those wishes are still left open. These wishes are being fulfilled in Family Historian 7 and that's where I lay my hat now because progressing my genealogy and research is the more important thing to me, not spending time on workarounds. So let me just close by saying that colourful user interfaces never help me drive my research forward. If you have found the video informative, then please hit the like button. If you want to get notifications of future videos on the best genealogy tools I have found, then hit the subscribe button below this window, followed by the bell to get notifications.